New details on the case of the missing Hugoton mothers. Court documents just unsealed today gives us a better idea of what led investigators to arrest four people for the murders of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. KS and Zena Taher combed through all of the affidavits today. Zena? Julia, investigators found two bodies in Texas County, Oklahoma Sunday. They're waiting on the medical examiner's office to identify them, but authorities say today they're certain Veronica and Jillian are dead. The four arrested face murder, kidnapping, and conspiracy charges. Probable cause affidavits allege this cause is rooted in a custody battle over Veronica's kids. A targeted attack on Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. This wasn't a random deal. One of the four suspects arrested the grandmother of Veronica Butler's children. Court documents show Tiffany Adams was in a, quote, problematic custody battle with Veronica over the kids she shared with Adam's son. The affidavits show the day Veronica disappeared, she was supposed to meet Adams for a supervised visitation with her kids. Jillian Kelly was supposed to be the supervisor. Jillian was the stand-in. The normal supervisor told investigators Adams told her to take a few weeks off. Jillian and Veronica never made it to the visitation location at Four Corners. That's where the other three suspects come in. Tad Cullum, Adam's boyfriend, according to the affidavit, and Cora Twombly and Cole Twombly, who are married. According to investigators, all four are part of the same anti-government group with religious ties. A family member of the Twombly's allegedly told investigators Cole and Cora blocked the road and diverted Jillian and Veronica to Adams and Cullum. The affidavits don't explain how exactly Veronica and Jillian may have died. What they do specify is blood was found on the road by the car Veronica and Jillian were riding in. Veronica's glasses were found near a broken hammer and a pistol magazine was found inside Jillian's purse, but there was no gun. In 2022, Veronica filed a protection from stalking order against Adams. She alleged Tiffany stalked her after her kids' ball games. She, she claimed Tiffany went to a game, but instead of watching, she took pictures of people's license plates on their vehicles. Then Veronica alleged Tiffany drove by her house several times and harassed her. A judge originally granted a temporary protective order, but then denied a final protection from stalking order because Veronica, quote, testified no fear and no threats were made by Tiffany, end quote. This information comes as law enforcement agencies say Veronica and Jillian were singled out for the March attack. There was not immediate threat to the public. Again, as the sheriff alluded, this was a targeted uh, case. A probable cause affidavit shows an informant told law enforcement Tiffany and the other suspects in the case made other attempts to kill Veronica. The informant says those happened in February near Hugoton. Documents allege one of the suspects said the plan was to throw an anvil through Butler's windshield as she was driving to make it look like an accident. The four suspects are scheduled to appear in court Wednesday morning, according to court records. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.